Today, I will give you the complete class for Premiere Pro 2020. In Premiere Pro 2020, first you need the create a project. Simple go to the file menu, new and select project. In new project window, must type your project name and select the project save location. Hit OK button. This is the interface of Premiere Pro 2020. On the top of the area, you will find the different workspace like editing, color. Editing workspace is best for all users. On the left corner, you will see source clip panel, effect control panel and audio clip mix. On the left bottom corner, you will see project panel. In this panel, you will import any kind of media files. Next, you will see the effect panel. In this panel, you will find many audio and video effects and also transitions. Next, this is your program monitor. This panel shows you the final edit video. And finally, on the bottom, you will see very important panel, timeline panel. Okay, now the time to edit something. First, go to the file menu, new and select sequence. In new sequence window, you will see dozens of video resolution presets. For example, 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K and many others like 720p. If you want to edit full HD video under the red R3D category, you will find the 1080p. Okay, type sequence name. This is very important. Now you see your timeline name has been changed into video editing. Actually, this is your whole sequence name. Let's import the video clip. Go to the file menu, click import or press ctrl i. Double click any video clip. Okay, import another video clip. Simple double click on gray area and import the clip. Now we have two different video clip on our project panel. Let's work with first video clip. Simple double click the video clip. Now you see your video clip is showing on source panel. You can easily play back video by moving slider and select a specific video clip with the help of in and out point. After applying the in and out point, drag the video clip on the timeline. Here you have an option. If you don't want to change sequence setting, use your own preset click keep existing setting. Okay, uh, plus and minus key use for zoom in and out the timeline by moving slider you can play back your video or press space bar to play the video you can easily decrease and increase your video clip length if you want to split the video clip first move the slider where you want to cut the video then select the razor tool on a toolbar or press ctrl k selection tool helps you to select the video layer. Now apply the same process to the second clip. Simple double click, move the slider, apply in and out point and drag the video at the end of first video clip. Now you see your clip is automatically snapped to the first clip because the snap option is enabled. If you disable the snap option, you will see your video clip is overlapping to the first clip. So enable the snap option. Okay, if you want to resize your video clip, simple select the video layer, then go to the effect controls and scale your video clip. And change the position. Okay, again cut the extra clip. If you want to delete the extra gap between two clips, simple right click between two clips and select ripple delete if you want to unlink your audio simple right click the video layer and select the unlink option now you can easily delete your audio let's import the png sequence in this folder i have a 259 image sequence simple select the first image Check the image sequence option, hit open button and drag the image sequence on the timeline, play the video, 
Okay, now the time to import the Photoshop file in Premiere. When you import the Photoshop file in Premiere, you will see the import layer file option. In this panel, you will import Photoshop file as a merge layer, individual layer, and sequence layer. Sequence layer option is the best for animate the Photoshop file because you will get all separate layers just like in Photoshop. Double click the sequence file. You can see all layers are available in sequence. You can hide or unhide the layer by pressing I icon. Let's create a basic animation. Select the any layer and go to the effect controls. Under the motion option, you can easily transform your layer. I want to rotate the text. First, set the anchor point. Okay, now apply the keyframe on the scale option. Set value 0. Then set the slider on 20 frame. And change the value 100. Play the video. Now you see your text is scaling 0 to 100. Let's apply some rotation. Apply key on rotation. Set value minus 90. Click this triangle to jump next frame. Then change the rotation value 0. Now play the video. Let's apply these steps to all text layer. Now drag the text layer one by one just like this. Now play the video. Perfect. Let's create a pop-up animation on a plant pot. Select the plant pot layer. Go to the motion controls. Select motion and move the anchor point. Okay, apply the key on scale. Set value zero. Then go to the 10th frame and set value 120. Then go to the frame 20 set value 90 now play the video cool but there is one problem my plant pot pop-up animation is not perfect select all scale keyframes right click select busier and play animation now this is the perfect pop-up animation next I will teach you how to apply a transition in Premiere I have a four different clips and I want to add transition between these clips. Simple, go to the effect panel and select video transitions. Under the video transitions, uh, you will find the dozens of transition. Click anyone like dissolve and drag the cross dissolve transition on the start of your clip. Play the video. Now you see your video is a start in fadden effect if you apply the cross dissolve between two layers see the result next if you want to delete effect simple select the effect and press delete key on a keyboard let's apply another transition like boris continuum select a cross glitch and drag between two layers play the video wow if you want to speed up your transition, simple drag back at the end point. Play video. Cool. Apply another lens blur dissolve transition. Play the video. Perfect. Okay, now I give you a short key for cross dissolve transition. It's very simple. Select all layers and press Ctrl D. Now you see the cross dissolve transition is apply all layers. Play the video. Nice. Okay. Now the time to play with text tool and apply track matte animation. Premiere provide us the two types of text tool. First type tool and second vertical type tool. Okay, let's play with the text properties. Select the text layer and go to the effect controls. Select text Premiere Pro 2020. 
you have all basic text option in this panel like font selection text alignment text tracking and line spacing fill and stroke colors you can also select the text separately and change the font and color okay let's work with track matte effect simple type the text and move up the text layer and import the video clip and drag the video clip below the text layer select the video layer and apply track matte effect you can also search the effect on effect panel under the keying effect you will find the track matte key effect go to the effect control under the matte options like your text layer my text layer destination is v2 means video tube Ta-da! cool now it's some reality simple apply scale and position animation on the text layer like this Play the video. Nice. Okay, now the time to create slow motion. I'm very thankful to Mozambal from Mozambal Art, Aryan Rajput, and very supportive guy Saz Sheikh. Mozambal shot this uh, clip on 120 FPS because a slow motion video needs more frames. Okay, first I unlink the layer, delete audio. Move the slider where you want to start slow mo speed. Split the layer. Then right click the layer, select speed duration. Set speed 20. Play the video. Cool. Okay, again set the slider and split the layer. And add another close scene like this. Delete the audio, split layer and delete extra scene. Set the clip and set the speed value 20. Okay, again split the layer. Delete extra layer, select previous layer and change the speed 100. Move back. Now play the video. This is the very basic technique to create slow motion video. But make sure your video must be recorded more than 100 frames. Okay, now we start very important topic, color correction. Color correction play a very important role in Premiere. Let's start. This video I capture from the Sony A6500 with the S-Lock setting. Select the layer, then go to the color space. At the right side, you will see the Lumetri color panel. In creative panel, you will see the color looks presets. These presets are very helpful for your S-Lock videos. I select SL Iron NDR, then increase the vibrance, then go to the basic correction panel, adjust the temperature, set the contrast, then go to the curve panel and adjust the white balance. Select red color and adjust the curve. Okay. Select green and blue color and change the curve a little bit. Then go back to the creative panel and set the highlight tint cool color. Check before and after. Okay, change some other values. You can also add the Vignity effect at some dark edges. So this is the basic color correction technique. I hope you like it. Next we start working with greeny screen. Simple import the any green screen video clip then go to the effect panel select video effect then select king effect 
under the keying effect you will get the ultra key effect just drag on the green screen video layer and select the color picker tool and pick the green screen under the mid generation set the highlight value to shadow 53 add the background and play the video cool let's work with blend mode if you have any video clip with black background so a screen blend mode helps you to transparent your black background video next in premiere you can also record your audio it's very easy simple connect the mic on your pc then go to the preferences select audio hardware select your mic on default input click ok then click the record button mic wait for 3 seconds then record the audio hi everyone this is Wizbeck welcome to VFX 101 I told you it's very easy now we end this course with the render video class ok when you edit the complete video you must render your project press ctrl m for export setting in export setting window you will get lots of video format h.264 produce the best video output result next we have a lots of preset by default match source high bitrate preset auto select with h.264 format you can also render your video in 4k format next select the output name and destination select your destination with the output name click save and hit export button now your project is rendering in video format go to the destination folder and play the video i hope this video is very helpful for you like and share this video subscribe the vfx 101 and must press the bell icon. Thank you.